Well, we need to hit back hard. Uh, I just baffled by this word salad uh, that is used. We're now we're talking about disabling uh, uh, the opponents there, uh, tiered responses, degrading and proportional. I've never once heard the word destroy. We're putting Americans in harm's way, and this continual uh, uber sophistication of word choice does not impress anybody except for uh, CSIS, the Atlantic Council, and Council on Foreign Affairs. I mean, we're putting Americans are dying in this conflict. Uh, we've had a perfect score so far in knocking down Houthi missiles in the, in the Red Sea. Somebody's going to get hit, hurt there too eventually. So uh, it, it's unimpressive so far. And I believe the British actually have declined to participate with us in this uh, a punchback. Interesting. Uh, Colonel Schaefer, in the next hour, the yeah. Bidens will attend the dignified transfer of the three American service members killed. If we remember the last time he attended this, he was constantly checking his watch. Uh, what it do you was. think about this? Uh, you know, I mean, you know, so many people are worried that could he do it again? Does he not understand the gravity of this? Families are in mourning at this point. A nation is in mourning over these three fallen soldiers. Lydia, he understands, but he doesn't care. I mean, there was also a feckless phone call that Biden had with the families where he basically, uh, again, restated the myth that his son died in Iraq. This is not uh, uh, an accident. So the disrespect, the uh, disregard for merit, what John just said regarding this tiered uh, kind of spaghetti language that's being used to, to, to encourage uh, our adversaries to back off is having the opposite effect. So simply put, Lydia, it's appropriate for the president to go. You know, I, lo I know Lloyd Austin. You, we've talked about this before. I served in combat with Lloyd Austin. But the Lloyd Austin who showed up yesterday on the podium was not the Lloyd Austin who was decorated for his combat valor. There's something really wrong right now. And the man who should be instructing the president on trying to help him appropriately respond to this is Lloyd Austin. And he can't even be found half the time because he's being treated for cancer now. And I, God bless Lloyd Austin, and I hope he survives and does well in his cancer treatment. But the point is, we are not doing anything to protect the men and women serving on the front line. And right now, think about this, Lydia. The, the, the Red Sea, the Gulf of Aden, is being controlled by a tribe of folks who run around in the back of Toyota 4x4s, and they control it. The best military in the world has done nothing to stop the, the, the diminishing of 25% of world commerce based on what's going on. And, and Colonel Mills, it seems like the attacks against the United States, they're ramping up, if anything. Uh, Yemen's Houthi rebels, they're not backing down. They've stepped up their attacks again uh, yesterday, attacking more vessels in the region. They're firing a ballistic missile at a Liberian flag container ship in the Red Sea. As you just heard Colonel Schaefer mentioning these, these Red Sea attacks why is this happening? Is it Biden's weakness on the world stage that is causing all of this chaos all over the world at this point? Uh, absolutely. Uh, the Biden administration is so smart. Uh, they're stupid, as the saying goes. Uh, this <laughs> lack of clarity, lack of resolve is nothing but a green light for more. And I, I'm watching the CENTCOM Twitter feed off to my right here. That, that's becoming robotic maybe even chat IPT, chat, chat AI uh, enabled feed that uh, gives, we just don't seem to have any passion or care until the administration takes out the two Iranian intelligence vessels and the Chinese intelligence base in Djibouti. This is going to continue. And oh, by the way, now there's evidence that the Houthis have transported significant quantities of missiles across to the other side in Sudan. So very shortly, they're going to be facing a missile crossfire. So perfect badminton record so far in swatting down missiles. Somebody, an American, is going to get hurt eventually because there is going to be a leaker sooner or later on this. The, the Navy has done wonderful, but swatting down missiles does not a national end state make. Colonel Schaefer, we have about 30 seconds left. We're seeing these attacks uh, across the world. We have an open border. Are you worried about an attack right here by terrorists on U.S. soil? Look, we have seen infiltration. It's been confirmed by the FBI and DHS. Lydia, again, I, I said it was a matter of time on Trump Force before uh, brave men and women were uh, killed on the front line. Uh, let me say this for the record. It's only a matter of time before we have a catastrophic terrorist attack on our own soil because of the southwest border being open. It's inevitable at this point, unfortunately.